Time for uh, Media Watch now, and James Creedon is with us in the studio. Hi there, Hi, Laura. Uh, James. And uh, you're going to start off with some reactions uh, to this extraordinary diplomatic spat between France and Italy. That's right. It is obviously what's been leading uh, news coverage in Italy, uh, in here, here in France as well. Indeed, around the world, you can see La Stampa there uh, headlining it on uh, their website, Corriere della Sera, as well. Uh, pretty much the same coverage as everywhere. Uh, this is the letter in question, uh, that uh, rather... A sternly worded letter uh, uh, from uh, from the uh, French Foreign Ministry, etc. And there were add-ons then on, on the French diplomatic website saying France has for several months now been the object of repeated accusations, ba baseless attacks, uh, outrageous declarations, etc., etc., etc. It really sounds like almost a, an interpersonal kind of uh, spat that you'd, you'd expect. And of course, the first couple. time that uh, France has withdrawn its ambassador since the Second World War, since 1940. Unbelievable. That and in that's in fact what th that that's, that very point has been mentioned mm. in this tweet. A lot of people pointing that out. Mussolini was in power the last time this happened. This is uh, mm. for for two countries that you know historically have been so close culturally, politically, and otherwise. It is it founding is, uh, members of the European Union, of course. That's right. And, and you know it's, it's seen as a kind of a sister culture, language, etc., country within Europe. Uh, in any case, uh, this is uh, what, what was what, what was added on uh, in the French diplomatic web uh, Twitter feed, which I might which I hasten to add is more carefully worded than, for example, Donald Trump's Twitter account or whatever. Every word would have been ch carefully chosen here because this is France's official diplomatic position. This is not Macron firing off. Tweets no, 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 not at all. There's nothing kind of it. This is all carefully crafted stuff. Uh, France appeals to Italy to act to f uh, to find a, uh, to uh, re I suppose uh, regain a relationship of friendship and recipro reciprocal respect, mutual respect uh, that is worthy of our history and our common destiny. Indeed, common destiny. That's the big question, of course, because we have European elections coming up, and uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show some tweets we get related to that in a sec if we have time. The winds of change are blowing. Over the Alps. Now, that was a tweet by uh, Five Star Movement Prime Minister Luigi Di Mao uh, when he met with Gilets Jaunes, Yellow Vest protesters he short in of France. He's putting one on himself, which I suppose we should be grateful <laughs> right. for. And of very course, very French very government not consulting that regard. Now, he did today, uh, that was a couple of days ago, this is his Facebook page today, a few hours ago, he said, The French people are our friends and our allies. Mm. But he then went on to say that meeting with the Gilets Jaunes, uh, Yellow Vest was legitimate, and he said he'd be open to meeting with Emmanuel Macron. So this is a uh, sort of a little bit of an olive branch, a little bit. Now, others are saying, hold on a minute, you know, there's accusations coming from France uh, of unacceptable behaviour. Is it, does it not go both ways? And indeed, you go back uh, to last year, uh, May, summer of last year, I think Francis <laughs> Macron warns populism of populism leprosy. Uh, uh, basically, he was talking about populism and, and nationalism as a leprosy that was taking over Europe. Italy took that very personally and said, uh, you better apologise. Uh, as you can see in this headline here. So this has been going on since uh, the new Italian government came in to power. This was only last month. Matteo Salvini of The League, who is, of course, the deputy prime minister, accuses France of stealing Africa's wealth. And this is all in relation to the migrant crisis and saying that France's <laughs> colonial past was partly to blame for that. Now... A lot of uh, accusations flying back and forth. Well, certainly. Meanwhile... Yeah. Da, 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 dot, dot, dot. This is uh, National Front's Marine Le Pen, uh, far-right uh, leader here in France, and Matteo Salvini, who is in government now in Italy. And there are indeed, three months ahead of European elections, common campaign posters. So there you go. It's 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 it's, um, it's amazing, strange times indeed. Marco Di Mao, no relation to Luigi Di Mao. Who, he's a centrist MP in Italy, and in this tweet he said, uh, "Foreign policy is not a game." Salvini and Di Mao, um, uh, they, 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 they're they're playing with fire, but it's the Italians are going to pay the price. Just one somewhat comic tweet to finish with. Uh, James Mates is the ITV uh, news correspondent yeah. uh, in Rome. Uh, he said, as an aside, Italian news is full of talk about jelly jallies. Uh, lovely name for them, <laughs> but it does make it hard to take the issue as seriously as it deserves. That's, of course, yellow vests, gilet jaune in French, and uh, gilet jalli in Italian. Gilet jalli. Sounds nice, doesn't it? It, it just think. doesn't sound... yellow vest. It doesn't sound... <laughs> yellow vest is the worst. Everything sounds better in Italian. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, move on to something else. Uh, talking of uh, items of clothing, yes. if you will... Uh, and the uh, Italian designer Gucci yes. has got in a bit of trouble over a new garment, a very That's strange right. garment. Can I just say, I, I, this chronic, this, this today's Media Watch is very uh, kind of you know <laughs> heavy on Italy, and yeah. I personally love Italy. But yes, here we go. Here, me here's, too. Here, Who let's, doesn't? Let's tap on. Let's uh, <laughs> let's um, what would you say? Criticize Italian luxury brands now. Uh, Gucci apologizes uh, for. Uh, well, this is get a look at this what yourself. What is this? Right? Exactly. This is a, 
Why polo, would you wear that? A polo neck that goes up over your mouth. With How a, much does it cost? A ridiculously, a ridiculous amount of money, something like nine hundred uh, pounds or something like that. In any case, I mean, how could you not see that that could potentially be offensive? Eight hundred and ninety dollars. Yeah, well, essentially, Twitter storm. I mean, Laura. aside from the fact that it's offensive, it's just stupid, ridiculous. <laughs> in any case, take a look at uh, some of the comments online. First came Prada, then came Gucci. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh-huh. And everyone keeps buying their stuff anyway. No way that they didn't see what that sweater, uh, see Gucci, what the sweater Prada, is. Prada. And apparently there was even a keychain that went with it. Right now, this is all, of course, oh, yes. uh, yeah, a little bit too similar really, to the blackface iconography. people. But what I don't get is, uh, and this is quite did odd. Did they do this on purpose? Well, if you, this is December, right? I'm seeing this a trend. This is only a month or two ago. And yeah. Prada, this was in a, their Soho store in New York. Oh, These were these kind of gimmicky things. Uh, why does the fashion industry keep bumbling into racist imagery? Then there was uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Now, this isn't, uh, uh, you know, black. It, it, this is, oh, yeah, this they, is they, really basically, Chinese people did not like this. It was, a, it was seen as poking fun at them, eating a pizza with chopsticks. Now, I do think the fact that the imagery is so similar would lead people to legitimately ask the question, is there a notion that no publicity is bad publicity? Anyone who would buy Which is pretty despicable and if it wear is, that, is. in my opinion, has a few issues anyway. Yeah, but. definitely. But yeah, all it's right. Not, it's, <laughs> not, it's not nice or funny. No, <laughs> that doesn't look good. All right. But we're talking about them. Is that what they want? <laughs> All right. Thank you, James. Thanks, As Laura. always, uh, uh, mille grazie. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Right, thanks I very don't much. know how to say you're welcome, but whatever. <laughs> Prego. Prego, thank you. <laughs>